Mr. McCann. I would appreciate it if you spoke. We can't do this every session. There needs to be communication. How did your brother's death make you feel? Does it still affect you? Your father's absence? Mother's disappearance? The stresses of being a self-made gang leader. Can't you just talk? Please? Okay. Seems I need to get you a new therapist. Clearly I'm not a good fit. Any preferences? No. I like you. What? I don't want a new therapist. I want you. <laughs> um... <clears throat> well... If you want me to continue being your therapist, you need to talk to me like a patient. Can you just be eye candy? Excuse me? You heard me. I can't believe these are the first words out of your mouth. After a week of silence, this is not the way to keep me as your therapist, McCann. I'll make sure to set you up with a man this time. Just make sure he's as pretty as you are. I'll give you the wrinkliest one we have. Ethan, could you put him away, please? Huh. That went fast. He didn't talk again. I didn't see the point in waiting. It looked like he was talking. Well, he did. But it was... antagonistic. Please, just put him away. It's late. I'm sure he's tired. Like he deserves shit. <sighs> to make any progress in therapy, I have to pretend my patient is a normal person. Not a mass murderer. So please, excuse my polite behavior. Uh... That wasn't aimed at you, Dr. Hartford. I just... don't like him. Oh. I see. Uh, excuse me, Ethan. Uh, have a good night.
Kitty! Huh? How'd it go with the gangster? Teresa? Aren't you supposed to be at the front desk? Uh, I can have a break! Since when does a prison need a receptionist anyway? Uh, but shut up! What about Jason? How do you even know his name? Um, but same as all week. He didn't talk. Really? That's so boring! Tell me when something interesting happens. Sure thing. Oh my god. Katie! Have a good night. When I first met you, mm -hmm. I wasn't scared of you. You said I was different. It's because I already felt some sort of connection with you. It's all just so exhausting. I'm, I'm stuck with people like you who make my job unnecessarily difficult. Or, or people who attack me because I look like their dead ex-wife. <laughs> my patients are the closest thing I get to socialization. Feels like I'm the one in prison. Katie, am I really that much of a pain to be around? Yes. How do you know my name? You're my therapist. You know me as Dr. Hartford. Where did you hear Katie? I'm a great listener, Kate. I see. I've been unprofessional.
Now that I've taken my turn to vent, you take yours. <laughs> Is this an exchange now? It's whatever you want it to be. Just talk. Anything for you, Katie. Losing Alex has been probably one of the worst experiences of my entire life. He was the only person keeping me a good man. He'd hate me if he were still alive. I'm sure it's a terrible feeling to believe someone so important to you would hate you. Well, do keep in mind, that was like over a decade ago. I've long since accepted what happened. The good and the bad. Mm-hmm. I see. You've done well, Graven. <laughs> good to see you think me starting my own game was a good idea. <laughs> yes, I suppose that is a bit much. Thank you for speaking, McCann. What has been on your mind recently, if not your brother? My name's Jason. Uh, okay. What has been on your mind recently, Jason? Well, I did just get arrested. Jail is shitty. Yes, I've heard it can be very stressful. No, no. Not stressful. It's boring. The interior design is dog shit. Not to mention everyone being too pussy to talk to me. So lonely. Oh, I see. So you miss your lavish lifestyle? Though, I assumed you liked it when people feared you. I prefer when people fear losing me. Go on. Like Matthew. He's a high school friend. He's like a puppy, bending to my every whim because he's so scared I'll run away. I find that a million times more interesting than fear. Mm -hmm. That is interesting. In my opinion, the only interesting thing here is you, Dr. Hartford. Uh -huh. Quite talkative today, aren't we, Mr. McCann? Call me Jason, remember? Could you sit down, Jason? But I'm enjoying the view, Katie. I'm not sure I wanna. I would appreciate it if you did. <laughs> you know. Time's up. <sighs> Ethan. What's up? Don't talk to me like we're buddies, you shitbag. Don't be so rude. Come on! Bye, Katie. Hey! <laughs> That's Dr. Hartford to you. Uh-huh.
doing? What happened? Oh. Hey, Teresa. He, um... Finally spoke. Oh my god! Was it hot? Hot? His voice! Duh! He's Jason McCann! He has a whole internet fan base. They call him JJ. <laughs> oh, he's so hot! His brother, too. Sad he passed. I would have absolutely married him. How do you figure that would happen? I, I don't mean literally. I mean, like, pretend. Internet marry. Husbandos? If you want to know how I imagined it, though... We would have met through you and Jason. You two would have fallen in love and ran away together. I would have heroically come to save you, but Alex would have stopped me. Instantly, a connection would be made, and I'd live with you guys, you know, the McCanns? And eventually, he would propose to me. We would get married. I would have Alex as the love of my life, and Jason as my side piece. <laughs> what do you think? Katie. Uh, hello? Katie? Earth to Katie. You do know you're fantasizing about a dead man and his serial killer brother. Uh, let a girl have fun! It's made up. In my head, they're just sad boys. They didn't do anything wrong. Uh. All right. Well, um, I should be going. Bitch, wait! You have to tell me how it went! Bye, Teresa. Katie! Poor. Jason. Talk to me, Katie. I love it when you talk. You do? Absolutely. You have the most beautiful voice. I shouldn't. I'm your therapist, not the other way around. But wasn't that our deal? Good morning, Jason. Katie, I'm pretty sure it's 9 p.m.